Hey, and welcome to Improve Your Voice. My name's Darren McStay, and today I'm gonna do a singing uh, video on how you can sing louder. Being a voice coach, I want you to be able to sing louder, but safely, and there's different schools of thought on this, um, but I'd like you to approach it gently and actually easily, because when you're trying to project or to resonate at a, a higher frequency, higher volume, it's often people's tendency to strain or to n put in too much effort than their body is really capable of uh, allowing to happen so you know the accidents can happen and you can damage your voice so today i'm going to look at three areas of the voice and offer tips that will help you to maybe understand how you can use your voice in a uh, a healthy and efficient way which is going to help you produce more sound so these can all be used as exercises on their own or you can even put them together to make a warm-up it's up to you so firstly we're going to look at projection versus resonance now resonance as i've talked about in a lot of my videos for speaking specifically is basically when the the body is relaxed okay the instrument itself is able to allow air to flow freely and of course as a singer you want air to flow freely because if it's not then it's restricted and that's when you get problems of course you add restrictions in uh, in order to create certain sounds and to articulate but generally that if the air can flow freely then uh, it will also resonate within you and it will go out and it will sing it will sound the way it's supposed to so we always need to warm up no matter what you do and so ways in which you can resonate are by finding relaxation in your body okay if you need to go for a massage because you've been to the gym too much you're tense you've had a stressful day or something that's not the great time for singing you need to take time out to de-stress yourself relax yourself that could be by drinking more water just to flush the toxins out of your body it could be to let drink less coffee less alcohol eat less red meat all these things that kind of can add stresses to your body or make it work harder Everything you can do to relax, maybe it's yoga, meditation, will help your body to uh, resonate more. And that's where you get those deeper tones and you're able to just uh, make, create sound, which is audibly louder than if you have to project. So that just gives you a beefier voice in the first place and those deeper um, notes. And relaxation is the first thing you should think about. So when you're relaxed, then you can start to warm up. And of course, if we think about projection, a lot of people talk about diaphragmic breathing and pushing and, and pulling the stomach in, but I'd like you to tackle it a slightly different way. First of all, we want to allow the space to be open. And a great way to do that as a little warm up or as a little exercise is to yawn. <sighs> Now I get my um, speaking students to do this uh, wide and big and opening up all the areas on the inside all the way up to the mouth. But for the singers out there, I want you to keep your finger in between your front teeth as you do this. So you, everything else is yawning, but the mouth at the front stays closed. And this just changes the shape of the instrument and allows you to direct air specifically. So, uh, uh. See, I'm adding just a little touch of sound there, just a normal yawning sound. I'm not pushing it, I'm not adding anything extra. This is just gonna help create space. And the idea of space is that there's more room for air to flow. And so when you're relaxed and air can flow, then you can think about projection because you will need to project less if your channels are open to allow the air to flow freely. So maybe do 10 of these. And then you can do it again without. Uh, even close your mouth and hum. Mm. Mm. And also to project, a lot of people want to pull the diaphragm in. Huh, 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 huh. But I don't want you to do that. I actually want you to take your pelvic floor muscles, you know, the muscles that stop you from peeing and pooing, and hold them in. And then, after you've held them in, then I want you to try and fart as you let the sound out. So if you make a yawn, uh, and try and create a sustained downward push, so down towards your pelvic floor, as opposed to pulling your diaphragm in. It's a slightly different school of thought, this, but it's much better at helping you to sustain uh, an even note. So rather than, uh, which is great, we're just holding a bit more control. So we're engaging a couple of muscles, those pelvic floor, and then trying to fart, if you like, and push down. So. Uh, it's just a different way to think about it. So rather than pulling in, you're pushing down. So try that out, have a play with it, see how you find it, see how it feels. If you're unsure, come back and watch this video again. I'm pretty sure you'll get it though, and it does help. 
to think about things in different ways. And if anyone out there has had trouble in the past, maybe this will open up some doors for you. So we talked about relaxation and how less effort can actually mean more because you're creating space, we're doing the yawning, but also now we've got a way that we can hold our resonance and then project a little bit further without pushing too much or pulling our stomachs in. And lastly, I wanna look at flexibility because in order to be louder, we need to have more dynamic flexibility within our bodies because we're muscle, fascia, bone, and all these kind of bits and bobs thrown in, uh, which are kind of organic material. We are human, we are animals, and we are a physiological machine. And so by flexibility, I don't just mean our articulation, but because this video is specifically about um, increasing your volume, you must be aware that actually articulation will help you come across more clearly and appear to be louder. Okay, because if you're mumbling very loudly, you're just making noise. But if you are able to articulate clearly, if you're in a big room, for example, and you have to sing to an audience without a microphone, then it's gonna come in very useful in order to articulate and stop each word when it needs to. Of course, when you're singing, you articulate less, and it sounds a bit weird if you sing and do this what I'm doing now. However, you need to be able to cut off certain words and articulate enough as to break up the words so they're understood and not just one note. Okay, maybe some opera singers sound a bit more like that. But generally, if you go back and listen to some of your favorite artists, I bet you any money, when you listen to them carefully, you will find that they're articulating clearer than you might imagine. And this doesn't really add volume, but it does make it more audible to the listener. So it has the effect of being louder because it's clearer. So we're considering volume in a different way and, and it's the way that we're delivering that. And of course, all this is pointless unless you're warmed up. So the yawning is a great warm up and the humming is a great warm up. Staying relaxed, that's perfect. And then articulating and using this projection method of engaging your pelvic floor and trying to fart at the same time will help you sustain notes and actually help you project safely. But never do this when cold, always do a warm up. Do these exercises whenever you like, but you should find that with relaxation, more flexibility, you will have more resonance, which will make you sound louder. And then when you articulate, again, it will be clearer and therefore better to be heard. And then these just gentle ways of projecting by just pushing downwards, thinking down, and that will help you send your voice out louder, clearer, like a bell. Okay, I really hope this has helped you. I'm Darren McStay, this is Improve Your Voice. If you wanna learn any more about what I teach, I have an eight week course in which you can actually improve your whole functionality and your instrument. You can learn about more about breathing, more about posture, more about projection, articulation, resonance, and all the other things that create uh, your instrument to be the best it can be. And until the next time, look after your voice.